Hey there, welcome back to my channel. My name is Mora and I'm a physical therapist and certified yoga teacher. Today I'll be bringing you a 10 minute chair yoga for beginners. This is a quick and relatively gentle practice. Um, all you need is a chair. If you'd like to put a mat in front of you uh, just to help your feet from slipping, that's fine, but it's not required. Um, for part of the practice, I will be using a yoga strap just to assist with stretching. And I also have some blocks nearby just in case I'd like to bring them in. Um, if you don't have a yoga strap, a dog leash or a towel or a sheet will work just fine. I'm just sitting in a regular folding chair and I'm sitting on a yoga blanket just because it's a little cold in the room that I'm in today. So I'm just trying to warm it up a bit, but it's not required that you sit on a blanket. So when you're ready, just plant your feet, maybe gently resting your palms on the tops of your thighs. Let's just start to tune into our breath and take a couple rounds of box breathing by inhaling for a count of four and then holding for a count of four. Exhale for a count of four. And then if it feels comfortable holding in that exhaled breath suspension for a count of four. If you don't like that or it doesn't make you feel good, then you can just inhale, hold and exhale or just inhale and exhale and omit any of the holding. Let's do three more rounds in any way that you'd like to. Inhale for four. Hold for four. Exhale for four. And hold for four. Inhale. Let the breath come as far down into your body as you can feel it going. Hold for four. Exhale for four and then hold for four. Last time, take an inhale here. Hold for four. Exhale for four and then hold for four. And now we'll just cut that down to inhale and then exhale. A few more times here, inhale, slowly exhale, last one, inhale, slowly exhale, and gently open your eyes if they were closed. And take an inhale and reach your arms up as high as they go, maybe looking if that feels okay. And then as you exhale, bring your arms to a cactus shape, squeeze the upper back. On an exhale, round the back, bring the arms closer together, stretching through the upper spine. And then on your next exhale, return back to normal. Sitting up nice and tall, we'll go through that three more times. Inhale your arms up. Exhale, cactus the arms. Inhale again, opening that chest, squeezing the upper back. And on your exhale, bring the elbows closer together, round the spine. and then let everything come back down. Two more, inhale up, exhale, cactus the arms, open the chest. On your next exhale, round the back, bring the elbows closer together, and then bring everything back down. Last one, inhale overhead, Exhale, cactus, open the chest, squeeze the upper back together, engage those muscles. On your next exhale, bring the front together, round the back, and then exhale down. 
Take a deep breath here. Let it out slow. And then slide your bottom toward the front of your chair. I'm just gonna move my props here. The left leg is gonna stay where it is. I'm gonna bring the right leg out straight. So you might need to scooch over a little bit more. And then place your hand just on the thigh or on the waist. Don't press into the side of the knee joint that might be uncomfortable. Inhale, reach the opposite leg up and then side bend over if that feels good. When you let your breath out, release everything down. Take that leg that was out to the side and bring it to cross over the opposite knee. However far down your leg wants to go, just open up the hip here. Maybe sitting up nice and tall and if you'd like to hinge forward at the hips for a deeper stretch into that leg that is crossed, that's an option for you. And just look straight down, keeping your neck nice and long. Keep taking those nice, slow, deep breaths as you gently stretch and get a little more range of motion. Inhale, back up, release that leg, and we'll do the other side. You might need to scooch over a little more to the side as you bring that leg out long, keep the other leg planted nice and firm, and then you have your base of support through your hips and your pelvis here. Bring that left hand wherever you'd like, reach the opposite hand up and over, big stretch here. You might even feel some stretching through the adductor muscles on that side that is stretched out. Keep breathing. Keep that connection to your rhythmic, slow, deep breathing. Plant through that front foot. Keep the, some of the weight in the heel. Watch that you're not coming up on the toes. Exhale it down, slowly bring that leg in and bring it up. Bring the ankle over the opposite knee. Let that knee fall out and stretch through the hip. If you'd like to deepen the stretch by hinging at the hips, there's your option. Slowly come up, uncross that leg. And you can scooch back in your chair. If you have a strap with you, we'll use it to do a little bit of a hamstring stretch here. Place the strap underneath the sole of your foot and then sit up nice and tall using the strap. Try and extend that leg and maybe, maybe hinging forward at the hips slightly if that feels okay for you. If you feel like you need a little bit of support here, if you have a block or another chair or an ottoman, any of those are an option for you. You can always keep a slight bend in the knee if that feels better. And then gently release that side. If you're using a prop, move it over to the opposite side. We'll take that strap and put it under the ball of the foot. Come to the position where you feel the most comfortable. Straighten that leg as much as you like, and then hinge forward from the hip if you're looking for a little more stretch through the hamstring. Keep that connection to the deep breath. Just release the tension whenever you're ready. Get rid of that strap. And the next couple poses will be doing standing poses with the assistance of the chair for balance. Um, if that's not for you today, you can go ahead and skip that part. But otherwise, if you are coming with me, take your chair. Depending on where you are, I have to move my chair. And we're gonna use the high side of the chair here just for a little extra balance. 
So first we'll do a standing calf stretch. Take that right leg, step it back, press the heel deeply into the ground and try to keep the knee as straight as you can. Placing your weight through the chair or even if you have a wall nearby, those are great props to assist you in getting a good stretch. Try and tuck your hips under and really isolate that stretch to the back of the calf area here. And take one more deep breath and then step that foot in, shake it out a bit and we'll repeat on the opposite side. So bring that left leg back, a nice long stance, press the heel down, bend into the front knee. You might notice that one side is tighter than the other and that, that happens a lot. Keep taking deep breaths here. And when you're ready, put your weight into the front leg, step it back in. So we'll come into a warrior one. Let's step that right leg back and turn the toes out however much you feel comfortable. Bend into the right knee, keep the knee stacked over the ankle. And then if you'd like, you can go ahead and release one or both arms overhead. If balance is a concern for you, then just keep your hands down on the chair or on the wall so that you have something nice and sturdy to assist you. One more breath here and then step it back in, shake it out. We'll do the same thing with the other side. Step the left foot back, turn the toes out, front knee over the ankle, Option to raise one or both arms or even bring them to the waist. There's so many different ways that you can accomplish these different positions and really make them work for your body. And take another deep breath and step it back in. And last thing that we'll do standing is a standing downward dog, which is easier than it sounds. So you're gonna take a step back with your feet, stay holding onto your chair and just send your hips back. So you kind of look like an upside down letter L. And you can bend your knees here, whatever feels good. And just try and get some lengthening through the spine as if someone is pulling your tailbone in a straight line away from your hands. Keep breathing deeply here. And then exhale, come back up to stand. Just give yourself a minute for all the blood to come back up and we're gonna finish sitting down in the chair again. I like these folding chairs, they're nice and light and you can move them around however you need during your practice. But if you're not recording in a corner, you probably have a little more space around you so you wouldn't have to move your chair. So come back to your easy seat, feet flat on the floor, hands down on your thighs if you wanna feel a little bit more grounded or you can always turn the palms up. and just come back to that breathing. We won't do the full box breathing here, but rather just focus on the deep inhale and the long exhale. Let's take four rounds here. And when you're ready, just float your eyes open. 
I hope you feel a tiny bit more relaxed now. Thank you so much for joining me for this 10 minute chair yoga for beginners. If you'd like to check out some other um, chair yoga practices, there'll be a playlist popping up here in the corner and you can check that out. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Thank you.